The Messiah will be the judge. The, Mashi the, the Mashiach will be the judge, and not for what he sees, and not for what he hears, but what he smells. He believes the Mashiach Ben David is, is coming he's, he's, to, to this temple. Mashiach Ben David is very soon, and he is a Jew, and it is, he is not Jesus. And uh, if the Christians want to hold it, they can hold it. But we will never change our mind. We prefer to go back to Auschwitz and not to change our religion. This is the main thing. We so are loyal. What would happen to Christians who refuse this Messiah and, and hold on to Jesus? Is that what we'll see? We'll we will to... see. I don't know. I'm not the Messiah. <laughs>
you know, the Jewish people in our prayers and just ask the Lord for a revelation and guidance on how to show them that Yeshua came, Yeshua paid for their sins upon that cross, but they need to accept that. Right. And so I'm, I'm no better than anyone else. It is only by the grace of the Lord that I'm able to be here and have the knowledge of Yeshua. Would you say it's more of a one world uh, temple for the whole world? It will not be never one religion. It okay. will be nations. Okay. And the nations are like uh, gemstones, very precious. <laughs> okay, so maybe the United Nations will, will work with you on this. Maybe, maybe, maybe exactly. we hope that they will change their way. But what we say to the nations, if you want to the real law, the pure law, the justice, the mercy, the peace, you must follow the Bible. Shavit Yisachar, you yod ei bina leitim. It yaitzu itam. Mishkan azay yanu abadrachim. Anachnu bemidbar, bemidbar Sinai. Tzuchim lagi al Yerushalay. You think we're in the time? It's almost here, the third temple. Yes, absolutely. Uh, many, many um, Muslims. I'm talking about the high, um, uh, let's say, uh, rank or hierarchy. And the Muslim uh, religious came to us and asked us, please build a temple. Why? Because the temple is for everybody, it's for the whole nations to prosper and thrive. So they came to us and asked, please build the temple. Now, the problem is with the radicals. The new world um, without any, let's say, negative and forbidden feelings like hatred, like uh, revenge, like it will be only loving, appreciation, uh, honoring. So this will be a, a new world, but not all order. It will be a new world, uh, holistic, uh, the holistic way, the, the way God wants it. So there seems to be some links with this to the Laodicean church, this whole thing, you know, with Christians funding it and pushing the idea that this needs to be done. There seems to be some links with the NAR, Dominion Theology, the New Apostolic Reformation, and also cults like Hebrew Roots. There was a conference recently where they were pushing that this needs to be done for prophetic purposes. And this is in a church that is NAR linked. So you see where all of this seems to be leading. Don't be deceived, folks. Remember, Jesus Christ is our sacrifice for sins. And if we're born again, he dwells in us. We are the temple of the Holy Ghost. We are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Stephen was stoned to death for speaking this truth by those people who loved and revered the second temple made of stone. So remember that we are the temple, that we don't need another stone temple to make sacrifices for sins. You know, that this is actually seems to be leading towards the prophecy of the Antichrist standing in, you know, the abomination of desolation, standing in the holy place. And what's more, they even claim now to have the red heifer, which is a news story that came out uh, just a few, a month or so ago that they claim, the Temple Institute claim to have a red heifer. Time is short, folks. Time is short. And ultimately, this is all prophecy. It's all what we've been told in the Bible by, by the Lord. You know, and the, the, all this prophecy is eventually leading to the revelation of Jesus Christ, who will return to this world, to the Mount of Olives and rule as Messiah, as King of Kings, over the whole earth and his kingdom will be now and forevermore. It's serious because it is a rejection of the Messiah. Um, you know, when Yeshua came and he walked on the earth during the Last Supper, he said that this is the blood of the new covenant. Yeah. We go to Jeremiah 31, 31, where the Lord said, I will make a new covenant with Israel and I will write my commands on their hearts. Yeah. And so just like in Exodus, when the Israelites were carrying around the tabernacle in the ark with the covenants inside, that tabernacle was made out of animal skin. And so in this new covenant, the Lord said he would take his commands and write them on our inward parts, our hearts. 
And so just like that tabernacle in the wilderness was made of animal flesh, now the tabernacle is our flesh. And the ark is our hearts and the commands are written inside. And so it's very important that when we come to revelation of that, that we realize that because of all this, because of that blood that was poured out by Jesus, that's able to happen. Remember folks that Jesus is the final sacrifice. He's the sacrifice for our sins. This is not leading anywhere good to the Christians that think that this is. Um, it's leading to an abomination. Because Jesus is our sacrifice, we don't need any more. And the, our body is the temple. But our body is the temple where the Holy Spirit dwells. We don't need a temple made of stone. Although this is part of prophecy and leading to the return of the Messiah, Jesus Christ, King of Kings. But this isn't what we follow. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, the Holy One of Israel. He is Lord, praise God, King of Kings, who died for our sins and rose again to defeat death. I pray that many Jewish people and many others across the world will not fall for this deception of the new age of Hellenized one world religion. and that many will turn to know the true Messiah. Well, I'm actually up here on the altar, folks, praising the Lord Jesus Christ for his sacrifice for our sins. Please don't wait until it's too late. Prophecy is coming to pass. The hour is late. Praise God, all glory to him. All glory to him. Thank you, Jesus, for dying for our sins. Thank you.